How you going, guys? Today on Who Shows, we're going to clad the IBC so that no sunlight can get in and promote algal growth in the fish tank. We're also going to seal up the uh, cap on the lid of the IBC um, so that no water leaks through once you've filled your grow bed. And we're also going to uh, fill the grow bed with uh, hydrogen or clay balls, uh, which we will have to wash first. Uh, I think I've got about probably 300 litres worth to wash, which I'm not looking forward to. Anyway, here we go. So today I'll be using uh, some 3.2 millimetre or 1 8 rivets, uh, a drill with 1 8 bit and a rivet gun. So I'll be using these recycled shed panels, which I've cut to size and uh, riveted corners on. Let's go ahead and attach this to the uh, IBC. Fully clad and ready to go. So before we go filling up the grow bed with growing media, we're going to need to uh, seal up um, the lid on the IBC, um, just in case the seal isn't intact. You don't want it to leak. Um, also, there's a there's a pressure valve on the top, which you'll need to seal up as well. Um, that's just so. That when the ice had got hot, it wouldn't explode, but um, we don't need it anymore. So go ahead and seal it up. Make sure you use a aquarium silicon sealant um, that won't leach into the water um, and cause any problems. So here I have just under 300 litres of hydrogen, um, but during travel, the clay balls tend to rub against each other and get pretty dirty. Um, so you have to wash them. That's a lot of washing. Um, the easiest way is probably to use a wheelbarrow um, and um, sieve um, the larger the sieve the better this is just what I've got at the moment um, but what really work well are those shopping baskets that you the plastic ones you get from supermarkets um, if you can if you use one of them the um, whole spacing is generally the perfect size so uh, let's get to it Now, if you haven't encountered hydrogen before, there are expanded clay pebbles um, that are kiln exploded, essentially, um, and they're actually lighter than water, so they float. Which is pretty cool.
sieve number one. And so it begins. There you have it, guys. Grow is in. If we open the top up, being careful not to pull the whole thing off, um, you've got the bell. Pull it back, pull the bell out. And you can see, oh, that's pretty good, actually. So it might even take that down a little bit, but there's about two and a half centimetres be be between the height of the water and the height of the clay balls. Um, could probably go a little bit lower. But if you have a look even deeper in there, you can see that the shroud has kept most of the media out. There's a couple of little ones that have slipped through, but pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. Thanks for joining me this time on Hootos. Next time I'll be creating a solids filter and uh, hopefully we'll be able to fill this bad boy up. So, uh, see you next time.